Okay. In my last video, I introduced and explained common logs, which are just logs with the base of 10. And if we remember the fancy little mnemonic I used, we can remember the setup of logs and common logs, which is here. Large brats always exaggerate everything stands for the log base answer equals the exponent. We should also remember the question that a logarithm poses. What exponent must we raise the base to so that we get the answer? This question is also posed when it comes to natural logs. Natural logs just being logs with the base of E. E. The number E. More than two, less than three. E. The number E. A constant transcendentally it's E. The number E. Now, like the song said, E is an integer between less, more than two and less than three. Um, I'll actually leave the link to that song in the description of the video if it helps. E actually is an irrational number, and by that I mean you can't simply like put it into a ratio. Um, fun fact about E is that the complete value of E has not been fully determined and they've only calculated about 869 million 194,101 decimal places of e which is kind of a lot like pi but more irrational most people use the rounded form of e which is to the thousandth place, 2.817 thousandths. Um, some people actually plug that in to their natural log equations, but that's kind of excessive considering there is a button on the calculator, and if that button on the calculator is provided to you, most likely you're going to use it. So, and since most natural logs do require a calculator due to the factor that E is irrational and not fully determined yet um we'll be using a calculator for this tutorial on solving natural logs the time where calculator is not necessary is usually during like conceptual questions so uh, let's get into it so what's a natural log the base is always e which is always the same constant basically just like with a comp and just like with a common log um e can be absent how 10 is in a common log um they call that a hidden base um but just know that with a natural log it's always e okay we're going to go over here to look at the um natural log setup and it's just like any other logarithm, except this says natural log, and uh, this, it, it's to the base of E. Um, a mnemonic I used for this is, lately Natalie establishes an eccentric essence. And it's just some corny mnemonic I made up. You don't really have to use that, you can make up one of your own, it just helps me remember it. Um, and a natural log converts into an exponent the same way a common log does. Um, the log ba the log with the base of this answer equals the exponent, and then the base to risen to the exponent equals the answer. Same thing with a natural log. E to the power of the exponent equals the answer. So I mentioned conceptual questions, and those are pretty much by far the easiest questions. Um, they trick a lot of people because I don't think they understand like the basis behind them. So we can kind of like start with an example of it. Okay, so a question that they might ask you will look like this, and basically they'd ask you to solve for x or what is the value of x. And a lot of people get tricked up in it because they don't understand that 
they don't understand how to convert between the two. Um, basically, all you have to do is convert from a logarithm to an exponent using this over here. Uh, base to the exponent equals the answer. Um, so, to the exponential form, it's saying this base to this power equals this. So, e to the x power equals e to the seventh power. And, um, a lot of people, I guess that's where they confuse that, but honestly, you can just figure out that x does equal seven because they're in the same place with the same base same place same base yeah. what I usually try to remember is just like the definition of a logarithm because it tells me that the natural log of e to the x power equals x so the natural log of e to the seventh power equals seven because you look at it like this, e to the x equals e to the 7, since these two are in the same place, x must be 7. Okay, now we're going to try one. We're going to do, let's see, uh, great, the natural log base e of e equals x. Now, what is x? Well, based on our definition, log of e to the x power equals x. Um, so, this is also e down here. So e to the x in exponential form equals e. To what power do we need to raise e to get e? Okay, so here we should get 1 equals x, because for any base that is greater than 0, but not 1, which pertains to e, the log of that base equals 1. So, the natural, the natural log of E with the base of E equals 1. And you can check, and you can check that. E to the first power would just give us e. So, um, we can write, let's see, Cash box here. for any base b or e greater than zero and not equal to one the log 
of that base, B or E, B or E equals one. Here, let's do it like this. The log of V with the base of V there's same B here equals one the natural log of E equals one let's move that where you can see it here let's erase it Okay, so there we go. Since E is greater than zero and E is not equal to one because we said E is between is greater than two, less than three, it pertains to this theorem. Therefore, the natural log of E equals 1. Okay, so after we solve conceptual questions, we have to move on to the calculator part. So, I'm going to be using an emulation that I found on the web to show you what I'll be doing with the calculator and um, I guess you can find one um, I just searched it up TI-84 online got one so <laughs> okay so we're gonna start off with a pretty easy one um don't really need the calculator for it I guess you can use it if it helps like to prove your answer um, so I'm just going to write the natural log of 1 equals x. And what I always do first is, um, tell myself that there's an E here. So I'll write like little hidden E here. I always tell myself that there's an E there, that way I can remember that basically that's my base and I have to raise it to some power of X and so what I do is I take E to the X power and uh, equal it to 1 because 1 is the answer X is my exponent and we said the base raised to the exponent equals the answer so, now, okay, so think about it. We can use this same um, case, basically, for any base that's greater than zero, which E is, and not equal to one. We can use something called the zero exponent theorem, which means that any base that is greater than um, zero but not equal to one um, raised to the zero exponent will give you one. So let's type that in actually. Mm -hmm. 